Lewis, congratulations on, on the result today. We'll focus on the result itself first. I guess it's a happy change room tonight, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Um, the first thing we've done really when we got in is saying happy birthday to Michael. Really, he's come on his birthday and scored, got the winner. Um, but obviously, yeah, we're delighted with the win as well uh, to bounce back after after midweek game. But yeah, delighted. And uh, yeah, it sure shows the, the resilience of the team too. You know, we talked about the. The, the first defeat over at Coventry and what that led to, mm. and you know we had another defeat in midweek and we bounced straight back from it. Yeah, nah, um, it's all about to learn from the process. I think um, we knew that's obviously happened previously where we've lost a few on the bounce, so it was it was massive for us today to to come back and bounce back as quick as possible and put in a good performance and clean sheet. And for you as well, you know you were called into action, you know, sort of midway through that first half. I know, you know, game time, you'd have loved to have had loads more mm. this season. Who knows, you know, it could be a bit more through circumstances. Have, have you, despite, you know, not played as much as you'd like to, have you kind of felt quite involved still, hopefully? Yeah, it's tough. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's a tough thing. I think every footballer kind of go through this period um, at some point in their career. Um, it's about kind of keeping yourself happy and trying to do everything you can to, to maintain a, a level. Um, and I just think it's doing little bits when you're not involved um, to not sulk and just kind of get on with it and focus on improving yourself while you can't help the team and then when you're ready it's to go and help the team. And that's the sort of maturity again as you say that you've got to have ready to be a footballer because it doesn't always go your own way does it? Not at all, not at all. I think it's also important to have people around you um, and you, you know the people around you is, is going to be supporting you all the way um, so I've obviously got a lot of thanks to, to family and stuff because it's not exactly round the corner, uh, Reading for me now, but now I've, I've got a lot of thanks to them for, for keeping me spirits high and to keep us going through a, for a tough time. And, and when you came on today and stuff, what was your sort of uh, what emotions, if you like, going into it? Because you know you're playing against some tough players, some players who can get down the flanks as well. Yeah, no, nah, I knew it was going to be a tough test. Obviously, when I've come on, I kind of knew quite early that that obviously it was going to be a target for them because I'm fresh on the pitch. You know what I mean? Trying to catch his cold, so it was just be ready as early as possible. Um, I knew that uh, the wingers were sharp, so it was just about building myself in the game, getting the first few passes correct, and then just build from there. And yeah, as you said there, you know the, your teammates too. You, could, you, you know, when, when you've only got a few thousand fans in the stadium, you can hear a little bit more of what's mm. going on, and a lot of good communication going on with between the boys, making sure that everyone knows what their jobs. Yeah, no, it's massive, massive. Um, obviously, having Liam next to us as well is obviously is, is a good. Uh, he's a good talker, so I kind of build myself in the game with him speaking to us, keeping us, um, keeping us on my toes, and. Obviously, it's good to get the fans back as well, clearly, with uh, with a few thousand today and can't wait to be at the Majerski. That's the thing, because, you know, personally, I don't know the, the diagnosis for Omar, you know, obviously, we don't want mm. him to be injured if you hear, but, no, of but, but if, you know, should that be the case, if you have to slot in a left back, I'm sure you'd be do that gladly, won't you? Yeah, no, it's, it's part of football, I'm afraid, obviously, good for Omar. Um, he's been excellent all season, can't fault him at all. Um, but. I don't know, it's just it's up to the manager really what happens from now, but I'll be ready if I'm called upon.